Okay, so the purpose of these videos is to go over the Math 95 midterm sample. And so I encourage you to go ahead and print this out and follow along. Uh, I've provided you with a blank copy as well as one that has the solutions already worked out. So the purpose of this video is just see it being worked out live. You can see what kind of work is to be expected when you uh, turn that in and what kind of procedures I'm kind of looking for. So let's start off with the first one, number one. We want to solve y plus one-fourth equals negative two-thirds. Now there's a couple different ways that you could go about doing this problem. You could subtract one-fourth from both sides and then get common denominators. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to show you throughout these videos technique that works for working with fraction problems. And that's going to involve multiplying both sides by the common denominator. So I'm going to look at a four and three and I look at What's the smallest number that both 4 and 3 go into? And that's going to be 12. So 12 is what I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by. Now when you're writing that, this is really what's happening. I'm going to put a 12 over 1 next to each piece here. So I'm going to do 12 over 1 there, 12 over 1. We have the 1 fourth. 12 over 1 will be multiplied by negative two-thirds. So I'm just going to put a 12 next to each thing. So I have the original problem and all I'm doing is writing 12 over 1 next to each one. So now that I have this complete, I'm going to simplify it. So I get 12y for this one. Now this one I get 12 divided by 4, which is just going to give me a 3. And then over here on this side, okay, I'm going to multiply across the top, across the bottom. So if I multiply across the top, I get negative 24 negative 24 divided by 3 is negative 8. So you can see what happened. Because we did this process where we multiplied the whole equation both sides by the common denominator, that allows us to cancel out the fractions completely. And I don't need to worry about common denominators or anything else because I've cleared them all out in that step. So now that I've, I've taken it down to here, I'm just going to use my normal solving techniques to get the answer. So for this, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So subtract 3 here, subtract 3 there. Make sure you line everything all up and you're uh, subtracting each one like that. So you get 12y on this side, this is going to be a 0. And you know, by the way, to subtract, because you always want to do opposite operation with whatever you have here. There's a plus, so you think about what's the opposite operation. It's going to be subtraction. So that's why we're subtracting 3 from both sides. So when we subtract that, that should be a zero. If we did a plus three, I would have a six here, so you want it to cancel. So 12y on that side, this is zero. And then negative eight, you're subtracting three more. So when you have two numbers with the same sign, you're gonna add them together and take the sign of both of them. So eight plus three is 11. There's a ne two negatives right there, so I get uh, negative 11 as a result. The last thing I'm going to do is I need to do the opposite operation of multiplication. I have a 12 times y that's there. I want to do the opposite operation and that's going to be to divide. So I'm going to divide this side by 12. When I do the one side, I must do to the other side as well. By doing that, the 12s are going to cancel out and I get y is equal to negative 11 twelfths. So uh, you want to leave your answer in terms of fractions. Uh, in fact, on here it says reduce all fractions to lowest terms, and in this case that would be uh, as low as we can go as far as simplifying is concerned. You don't want, definitely don't want to write your answer as a decimal. You want to follow the instructions and write your answer as a fraction.